Hello guys and thank you for tuning in. My name is Tadoka Rizales from StockMusicLicensing.com. Now yesterday I did a video about uh, the three uh, main elements of a music track or the three components which is the composition, the arrangement and the production. I want to show you a quick example today of a crime uh, TV drama theme that I'm working on and it all started with a loop and now I'm trying to develop this idea further and uh, I was going to wait until I finished the whole track to do this type of video but <laughs> you know how I am. I'm a little bit impatient about it and I want to show you the whole process uh, even when it's unfinished so you can see well I'm still not sure what's the the actual outcome you can see how these kind of tracks are developed and this is a very specific or very peculiar uh, track because I'm working with uh, sound designs and it doesn't have a uh, a chord progression in the intro or it doesn't have any melodies really so it's a little bit more of a me creating some kind of a atmosphere some kind of some kind of a, a fear factor some kind of a, a suspense or some kind of tension so it's very specific but I want to show you how this can work even in this type of scenario which is really uh, I wouldn't say that it's hard I just think that it's a little bit um, uh, unique when it comes down to composition uh, because I'm not relying so much on, on music theory for, <laughs> for, the, for, for the track so because it will, it's much easier uh, when you write something on, uh, on a particular scale and then you can start with a chord progression immediately here is more about sound designs and uh, just a little bit of uh, effects if you will and while I'm at it I'm using only the free orchestra which is a fantastic uh, uh, sound library that I downloaded last week, so I'm putting myself limitations. Uh, I'm I've only using that. I'm very tempted to go and do something else, but I'm only using that. Okay, so I just want to play for you very quickly, so you can see the development of this uh, track. And uh, I'm at the moment. I'm uh, I got the intro, I got the verse, if you will, and uh, I'm going for the pre-chorus now. So I still yet have to find some kind of like a climax, if you will. So that's what you're going to be uh, listening now. Uh, just the intro, the verse, and the pre-chorus, okay? So this is what I got, okay? Notice that uh, every bar or so there's some new element coming up. In the intro, I'm only working with a few uh, sounds and I want to create some kind of atmosphere. And it's usually what I'm looking for here is to create that kind of a reverse uh, intro or that kind of like reverse symbol kind of effects. So this is very important uh, regardless of the genre that you're doing when it comes down to music licensing because it's something that editors are looking for. They're looking for a punchline. They're looking for, for something where they can actually, there's a symbol, there's a, there's a splash, there's a kick. There's something that they can uh, sync the actual image to the song, to the actual track. So that's what I'm looking for here in the very beginning. So I have this, which is just some sound really. The build up. So I'm still working on that. I want to be there more intense. Once the drums or the percussion kicks in, I wanted to create something like the heartbeat. Even though it's not fast, it's still like a heartbeat kind of idea. And that's what it sounds like this. So there is 
there's some drums going on, like emphasizing every every four bars or so, or, or every 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 cycle. Even though I don't have any chords here, I'm looking for that variation. So uh, I got the intro. This will be my my kind of like a verse, if you will, or a pre-verse, and then there is uh, this uh, happening with some uh, strings. Just to set the tone. Yeah, that would be like my verse, you know? Just repeating again. So like someone repeating that uh, vibe, and then the violin. create a scene for something really dark, something really tense, and, and this could work in many, many uh, situations when it comes down to crime, forensic uh, investigation, and whatnot. So I'll try to be as dramatic as possible. I'm only using the free orchestra sounds, like I mentioned to you. There are different, uh, different sounds and uh, stuff like this one in the beginning that really work well for this type of genre. That in itself is my intro, really, with this. So that creates that reverse kind of like uh, intro, which is very, which is very popular uh, when it comes down to transitions. I've done a video about transitions. These are all transitions, really, and uh, it's just that in the beginning, it's very important to not start. Uh, in one go, uh, like as a splash, because it's very hard. We want to uh, make sure that we have some kind of like uh, slowly going into the actual track, into the actual music, and then you can do like a like a splash or like a kick or or like a punchline, if you will. So that's what I'm looking for here. I might exaggerate this a little bit more with more sound design, but for the time being, uh, this is this is what I'm what I'm trying to recreate. Splash there, or a crash, some kind of, of uh, to, to be more more obvious. But anyways, I've done this with uh, corporate music, with acoustic uh, guitar tracks that reverse uh, cymbal and reverse piano uh, chords or reverse guitars. It's very popular. This is a, this is a must really when it comes down to music licensing in general. It's not a must, but it's, it's, it's a good uh, tactic. This is what we do in order to create uh, transitions and smooth intros so we can uh, offer the editors uh, a, a decent or an easier way to actually get to the punchline, especially in the intro. Um, because in the past, because if I was just going to start it like this without any, any intro, it would be like that, which it was the original idea. Good, but once you're listening like that, it's very, it's very raw. There's no, there's no something is coming, you know. So, so that's very crucial. I'm still working, like I said, into it. I want, I wanted to finish the track and then do a video about it. But I want to maybe uh, film a little bit more uh, like this, a little bit more loose, so you can see what I'm doing. I'm literally doing the intro today, this very t time. Right now, here is uh, almost eleven o'clock in the morning. I started a little bit late today, uh, but I, I'm trying to develop the thing, the, the theme. The whole song was just a, 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 a loop, as you know, and the loop was this one. This is what the original idea was like. Without the drums and without the cymbal, that was just my main idea. And uh, I, I get out of the loop now by introducing an intro, a verse, and try to build it to get to that part. Once I get to that part, I have to decide uh, how can I answer that main theme. So I'm going to be documenting more about this, how I developed this track. This is a very uh, peculiar track uh, because it's a lot of sound design, it's emotions, it's not a lot of chords going on. Uh, the only melodies or the only chords that come in is in the verse and then some violins But it's not something I'm not concerned so much in what chord progression I'm playing because it's just a few notes here and there just to set the tone really So because it's so much sound design going on that I'm just trying to create an atmosphere and be very minimal I don't want to really overdo it and I want uh, the whole track to create that tension throughout 
So anyways, I hope this video is helpful to you. I'm gonna be breaking down uh, more music that I'm working on and different styles, different genres, so you can see how this works and how this is a blueprint that you can uh, apply to any music track. Thanks a lot for your support. Thanks a lot for subscribing. And as always, rock and roll, and here's to your success.